Now, anyway, going back to the fucking Carolina Reaper lube, is can you imagine getting that in your urethra? Like, I can't. Uh, wait, what? Because, uh, or your asshole? I'm imagining it right now. Is yeah, this hard? I'm imagining it. So I feel, like, yeah. How hard are they? Right, right in there. Right in there. Right in there. Tell oh, me how much yeah, it hurts. Yeah, right under him. Oh, it's burning. Oh, I'm such a bad boy. Oh God. The weekend has landed. All that exists now is clubs, drugs, pubs, and parties. I've got 48 hours off from the world, man. I'm gonna blow steam out of my head like a screaming kettle. I'm gonna talk cod shit to strangers all night. I'm gonna lose the plot on the dance floor. The free radicals inside me are freaking, man. Tonight I'm Jip Travolta. I'm Peter Popper. I'm going to never, never land with my chosen family, man. We're gonna get more spaced out than Neil Armstrong ever did. Anything could happen tonight, you know? This could be the best night of my life. I've got 73 quid in my back burner. I'm gonna watch the lot, man. The milky bars are on me! And now, live from Rule 34 Studio, I bring you a girl that is 33% more likely to injure herself masturbating than the average woman. <laughs> Here she is, your host, the one, the only, Kinky Kitty. Well, you're not wrong, but, uh... <laughs> <laughs> hello, 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 and welcome to the show. This is Kinky Katie's World 360. I am your host, Kinky Katie, and with me, as always, is my absolute favorite flesh covered fuck toy, Mr. C. Yeah. We are coming to you live from Rule 34 Studios, KinkyKatieRadio.com, and RadioChaos.net. And since I never do it, I'm going to say chaos is spelled K A O S. <laughs> in case you were wondering. And net is the common spelling. <laughs> really? Common spelling of net. So, you know, someone's going to add an I to it I, you or never, something. To, an umlaut. They'll throw something in there. <laughs> One of those little ninja things. Yeah, you no. Know, like you, on the you know. Top of like, uh-huh. your, you know, Exactly. Anyway. Yeah, going from the spoken word to written for some people is tough sometimes. <laughs> It's a biopic. (laughs) That's what I'm saying. (laughs) Oh, my goodness gracious. Well, we have a lot of stuff to talk about tonight, and um, I am running on on fumes because this was was technically the last day of filming. Okay. Like, it was a wrap today, but there's one more scene that I have to shoot because the girl who's doing it with me, she's we got to see when she's available for it. And um, it's only going to take like 20 minutes. Pretty much, they just got to film me in bed with a dead girl. It's like like I'm watching a porno on like a like a um, notebook or whatever, iPad. Okay. And she's dead in bed next to me. That's it. Okay. So... It's Good not enough. gonna take long. Yeah. Sure, you're not gonna stress about learning your lines on that one at all. I have no lines freak on out. that one. Okay. I don't think. Do you know your motivation? Yeah, I just stroke her face and then I drag her off to the bathroom. Okay. Well, so horror horror movie shooting season is coming coming to a close here at some point. Yeah, it is coming to a close. Okay, good. Soon. Good. So, <laughs> are you sick of me talking about it? I, okay. Other people like it. Uh, sure. They tell me so. I don't have a problem with it. What? <laughs> <laughs> no, I had a, I had a lot of fun today. I, I really I really did. So way it should go. Yeah, that's the whole idea. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I don't know. It's fun. I got to pick up a homeless guy. Really? Yeah. What do you and mean I, pick up a homeless guy? And I get to kill him. Oh, like okay, in the movie. Yes. Your role. <laughs> I thought I thought I'm, I, I'm a method actor. I, <laughs> At first, I thought you meant like you know you just had to go pick up a homeless like Katie on your way. Pick up a homeless guy, bring him with you. Um, you know something really scraggly, maybe with a cart. Bring the cart. Bring the cart. Is he addicted to anything? Yeah, <laughs> we like track marks. Can, can you get? Make sure you have some something. We need something. It's got to be rough. <laughs> we want gritty. <laughs> We had a we had a full blown out conversation about fat pusses. Okay. To <laughs> Lixie and I. We we're standing there and she's completely naked and we're just having this conversation about fat pussies. Sure. And I because she's like, how am I paying well these are before she this is right before she got naked, but her jeans were like giving her a camel toe. <laughs> we were talking about I said, Oh my underwear, my fucking my pussy eats anything that gets up there. It's like <laughs> And then I said, I said, I bet you two to one right now, lifted up my skirt and like half of it was fucking like <laughs> eating it. So I was like, told you. <laughs> it's just a mom now now. 
I don't know. Okay. We're just talking about meaty snatches. Sure. Uh, yeah, I don't know. People well, People go to social media. They've seen mine. So whatever. And anything like that. I don't care. Shut up. But I'm, <laughs> feeling I'm just very... waiting for something exciting to talk about. Sorry. Okay. I'm feeling very Josie and the Pussycats today. It's something right, like right out of the 80s. I don't know what, what that out. I, you know, it's definitely I should retro. put on like blue eyeshadow and some like red lipstick or pink lipstick. You probably could have. Yeah. I yeah. Could've. You could have went that, that direction. Yeah. Well, you know, that's always next time. Put on some bangles and scrunchies. Sure. I don't know. Sure. It has that feel about it. <laughs> oh, another thing is um, Lixie loves your voice. Okay. But she says your voice does not, she said, match how you look. She, okay. She, she, In what way? She said, she, did she think I was black? No. <laughs> ever, you, know, you thought fucking donkey, donkey. donkey was black, which to I'm me, I was like, well, really? One. Did you? I kind of like it, that. Like what he looks like is what I thought he would look like. Well, and then it was addressed to him. <laughs> I mean, by him that he's like, no, I'm not black. Yeah, even no, though everybody that's, thinks that, that I am. That's why I laughed because I did not. You, when you said, is, is, is Donkey black? I said, I don't know. So but like, I don't think so. Why would you say so. that? Yeah. I'm like, listen to him. He just. He, he, sounds, he sounds like a. An Italian New York dude. Not to me. He sounds black. Really? Yes. Okay. And like I said, I'm not the only huh. one to think so. Huh. Anyway. Well, anyway, Lixie thinks that she said after like hearing your voice a bunch of times on the show, uh-huh. she expected you to be shorter than me. Okay. Like, <laughs> like 120 pounds. Oh, come on. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. Uh-huh. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what about my voice would would say. To, I mean, literally, I I think it matches me perfectly. Really, <laughs> literally. I just I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny though. And she was dead serious too. Well, I was whatever. like, wow. You get whatever whatever um like idea you have in your head of, of anybody, especially if you only hear their voice. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh no no like, no. You have yeah. Absolutely no, no. no idea what to go by. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, because you can see pictures of people like all the time, and in your head, you see, you know, you kind of have this this idea of what they sound like, and sure. then they start to talk like, oh, ooh, <laughs> <laughs> that's not right. <laughs> no, with radio people, that that's a common thing. Like you'll you, oh. you you listen to somebody every day on some morning show, and then you meet them, and you're like, wow, yeah, no, you're way funnier looking than I thought you were gonna be. Well, that's like from like Wayne's World. <laughs> Handsome Dan? <laughs> he's like, hey, how you doing? What's up? Hey. And he's like all scraggly and all, you know, whatever. I have no memory of that at all. Handsome Dan was a scream man. Sure. I mean, the cute guy. Anyway, okay. Whatever. I don't know. I'm tired. That's like a 35 year old. I don't remember. I know I saw that movie, but you know. That's okay. Oh, the Fetish Factory Lost Weekend is going on right now in Boca. So if you guys, if you want something to do for Sunday and Monday, then um, it's going know, on where? Huh? In what? Boca. In the, Boca. The Fetish Factory Lost Weekend. Oh, okay. Their, memori- the their Memorial, Memorial Day, Day. Uh-huh. action, which is always a good time. Yes. Yeah. Great time. So if you, especially, you have your vaccine rocking. We're in Florida. Everything's going on. That's right. Yeah. So it's it's time. I think it is time. Yeah. Put your Whatever, somewhere, whatever. Yeah, you better. <laughs> you better. Everybody's fucking horned up. Oh, and aggressive. Like yeah. getting in fights for over stupid shit, getting drunk, getting I arrested. Mm. Well, not us. I'm just saying no, in I'm general. Just like everyone's like, all right, let's go shooting now. Yeah. <laughs> um, let's go to my favorite segment. Stand by. Standing by. It might not be the porn you would pick. Oh! <laughs> Katie Wood. It's time once again for Katie's porn pick of the week. So my porn pick of the week are comedians. Really? Comedians are really turning me on lately. Okay. I I just well I'm a kind of a sucker for comedians anyway. Sure. But I it's just been kind of I don't know like funny people make me want to come. <laughs> And I had a I had a wet dream the other day. It was like the other morning I took a nap, and I I, I totally had one of the biggest orgasms I've had in a very long time. Okay, you were just talking about one of those last week. I know. Really, it's been happening more often. <laughs> I'm on a hair trigger. Okay. I just want to like pounce. <laughs> I know. Arr. I live with you. I know how it works. Yeah, so uh-huh. you, you know what that me. means, right? Who? What? Who? 
What? What? <laughs> what are you talking about again? Okay. No, I want. Oh, what? Well, so yeah. Anybody so, in particular, uh, uh, specifically? What are we talking about? What am I working with here? Well, my my normal you're ones. Not, you're not saying anything. Well, you're, my, you're no, like my norm- oddly <laughs> staying quiet about it, which is you know well, a little my, odd. My normal ones: Big J, you know, Lewis, Ari. Okay. Um, okay. You know, uh, fucking um, Robert Kelly. Okay. He's fluffy. I think he's cute. There's a whole mixture of things going on there. You really have covered your bases, I think. Steve Ryan. Steve, who the fuck is that? Who's that, like, Asian dude? Which one? Remember we went at the improv? What do you mean, which one? I don't know who you're talking about. Yeah, you, well, you took pictures of Who's me with name? him. What? Steve and Brian? Steve Brian? No, you have the wrong name. I, name you're, Bri- you, yeah, you're th- it's somebody else. It's a different name. <sighs> you're saying the wrong name. I know who you're talking about, but I don't think that that's. I don't. How think you pronounce his last burn. name? Burnt. <laughs> See. I apologize for fucking that name up so bad. <laughs> I'm like your face is in my head because I know because I he, I did he has a to face. You. What are you talking about? <laughs> well, they say you can only dream of stuff that you've seen before because your memory pulls it up. And I've never seen his wang, so why would I? I, I would only see his face. Yeah, but it's 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 not like you can like identify people by their wang anyway. Yes, I, mean, I can. Remember, we did a whole fucking show on it, and you called it. You, I remember them all. You are not you are not consistent with it at all because I know you. I know you, and I know you'll just be like, I don't know. Some of them, yes, I'm sure, just because of oddity. They have, yes, they have certain features. Well, they have character, yeah, personality. But here again, what you saw 20 years ago is not what you will see today, is is what I'm telling you. Probably not. So, here again, you know, uh, you're just going to put whatever dick you want to put on whoever you're fantasizing about. Don't think that you, you know what I mean? Why do we all look the same? I mean, <laughs> That's my favorite. <laughs> I mean, you're going to do a straight like uh, uh, game programmer trick and just use the same asset over and over again. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You know you like that dick, so that dick is going to be on everybody you fantasize about. Uh-huh. At least I know it'll fit. So you don't have to have any idea what their dick looks like. Because it all looks like this dick. one. That's right. <laughs> I'm just saying most likely. Well, anyway. All right, well, that's my porn pick of the week. Katie's porn pick of the week. Just saying. If you guys are funny, I'll flirt with you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Ah, horrible, horrible, horrible invention, and I don't know why someone would do it. And well, some sick, sadistic fuckers out there. I know you're Oversized out there. Oversized sounding spike. No. Okay. No, not that. But I mean, that do, those do exist. So it's like whatever. But this is Carol- roller coaster of death. No, she that not the death roller coaster. That's mm, a good invention. No, he's getting married to that chick. Remember, they're having a baby. <laughs> Okay. That woman who got involved with the roller coaster. <laughs> talked- oh, but not the the roller coaster of death. The one that you, if you rode, that's designed that if you rode, you would die. Sure. The seven <laughs> seven fucking flip flippies <laughs> snap your neck at the end. Snap. <laughs> I don't know. It's going to be Florida's new method of execution here coming up in twenty twenty two. I heard. There's legislation. Death roller coaster. There's, yeah, the de- where you can die by electric chair or death roller coaster. <laughs> 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 we. <laughs> you might not die immediately. <laughs> They're proposing a new amendment to to either for death by raccoons. Yeah, we just tie you down in in the middle of a pack of raccoons and put food all over you uh, for several days until they eat you dead. Raccoon death. <laughs> they eat you dead. Yep. <laughs> it, well, it'll be like the worst thing that ever happened to you. You know what I mean? Well, what Slowly if, eaten by fucking raccoons. raccoons. Yeah. <laughs> because you're the dude who got ate by raccoons then. You can't get away from that ever. That's a new one for a thousand ways to die. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> you're unique. You died by raccoons. Trash bandits ate me. That's right. Got tied and- to a stump in the swamp. And eaten by a pack of wild raccoon. <laughs> and the possums just watched. And the- these are post COVID raccoons, too. Oh, so they're really, they're really rampant and ready I'm to sure go. Sure, they are. 
<laughs> makes them extra aggressive. Uh huh. <laughs> well, they've no, been inside for a long time. Okay, from what I've been trying to say is this horrible invention is someone made Carolina Reaper lube. <laughs> <laughs> who the fuck does this? What do you mean? Who does? What are you talking about? <laughs> we talk about people every week who do weird shit to themselves. <laughs> Like ever, there's a never ending supply of people doing strange things yeah. that you're like, what? I mean, I guess so. Since you just mentioned it, I'm sure there's at least 15 forums on FetLife about it yeah. that I just never stumbled across yet. That's true. Yeah. Or Carolina. So like just Cajun regular, you know, <laughs> ghost pepper wasn't hot enough. You got to go Reaver. You got to go Reaver. Next year we're doing Pepper X. I'm, oh. Or is it Scorpion or I don't know. They come out with new ones all the time. And at soon, it's just going to be, you know, like just a straight uh, muriatic acid. No, you're just drinking pool acid. That's all. I'll add it to my peri, peri, booty, booty, prisoner turkey (laughs) tenderloin. Tell me some weird shit you're having for dinner. I don't know. What the hell? What are you talking about? (laughs) Putty, putty, fucking turkey. What? Just Can you make peri. use easier words when you're Perry Perry is very easy to say. Okay, okay, but that's not telling me a lot about it, you know. <laughs> well, I don't know what's in it. <laughs> okay. I just get the packet that says it. You just gotta break it down to what it seems like it is. Uh, you know, turkey breast. Seasoned turkey breast. Yeah. Okay. There you so go. I could have I could have just left out the words. Yes, so, and that would have totally not been confused because right when I heard "putty putty," I was like, what? "I never said putty putty. I said peri peri." Okay, it's same thing. It's it's, In it's your ears, identical. It's, it's the same. Okay, well, you don't even speak Indian, so you don't know, do you? That's very true. You are you are it very well could be putty putty for all you know. No, because that's I've always heard it pronounced peri peri. Uh, yeah, by whom? By the people cooking it. Uh, right, right. What does that mean? What do they know? <laughs> <laughs> More than I do. <laughs> they read it somewhere. They don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, anyway, going back to the fucking Carolina Reaper lube, is can you imagine getting that in your urethra? Like, I can't. Uh, wait, what? Because, uh, or your asshole? I'm imagining it right now. Is yeah. Hard? I'm imagining it. So, I feel like, yeah. How hard are they? Right, right in there. Right in there. Right in there. Tell oh, me how much yeah, it hurts. Right under my elbow. It's burning. <gasps> oh, such a bad boy. Oh God! That's you know that's what's happening, right? Yeah. Uh huh. Uh, Well, I mean that I did. We did talk about that that guy in the video who got um basically butthole fisted dunked in in wing sauce. Ooh, yeah, that's right. And those hot sauce. I mean, and how are you going to punish him uh, coming up? Like upcoming, he's going to be like Kilowa in Hunter Hunter, where he is impervious to torture because he's been tortured by his family his entire life. So when he gets to a point when he's like a fucking grandmaster, what you know what's going to happen? You're going to have to bust out the Carolina Reaper lube. All the time. And then it's just going to, then that's just going to be, you know, like nothing. He literally is right around the, he might actually enjoy the carol. You actually know somebody who might use this and probably will someday. You know, I should give him a little tweet and say, hey, <laughs> <laughs> you know what you should try? <laughs> well, and not really to him, but but to his owner. No, yeah, not to him. Why uh, would I talk to him? I don't know. I don't give a shit about him. Yeah, other than he's the receptacle of stuff. That's right. Uh huh. Just the keep slave. Your, keep your butthole stretchy, son. Whew. God, keep that thing damn. loose. That GI tract is long and clear. Oh boy! Because I've seen the things they. Ju- I mean, it's like a fucking like a hose coil or something <laughs> in, inside of him. <laughs> just fucking like da 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 da, but in reverse, you know, because you're feeding it in. <laughs> it's just like, geez, where does it go? I when- don't know. So one day I just expect it to just come out of his mouth and be like, "Do far, oh, back it up." <laughs> I don't know. Whatever. It's weird. The funnel gag is getting popular again. Really? I can't watch so I don't like watching those videos. Um they're just they're not for me. Well, the funnel gag if you don't know is a gag that you a device you put in somebody's mouth that holds their mouth open and then it has a funnel attached to it. Yeah. So it's like it's like basically like 
foie gras. You <laughs> know, you're force feeding this person. Or yeah, you force feeding them whatever you want. Yeah, whatever yeah. you want. Uh huh. And and I I mean I've seen people like eat a bunch of colorful cereal, turn around, and then go and just hork it into <laughs> into the funnel. And I'm like, oh, that is recycled fruity pebbles. <laughs> I'm like that. Yeah. That's disgusting. Like baby birding it. Completely yeah. baby birding it. Yeah. Except swallowing it first instead well, of just chewing it up. Oh, yeah. 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 And right after going with the ghost pepper fucking lube. lube. Yeah. Or actually Carolina Reaper. Hotter than the ghost pepper. Sloop up a butt plug with the Reaper. It, yeah. So Chase it down with some, some baby birded um, fruit loops. And then a little figging action. Oh, that is a lot going on. It's a lot going on, but you know somebody like Oh, I'm sure I've got like four people on Fet Life uh-huh. going, Hey, I heard what you're talking about. <laughs> what do you say we do that? Because that's right up my alley. Ow! <laughs> How did you know? How did you know, Katie? That is so <laughs> s- specific. <laughs> Oh, that's but, the exact fantasy that I have in my brain, but I could not express it. Well, that's what always blows my mind are the scenarios that people come up with and have fantasized about that you're like, what? With a what? And a what? Oh, yeah. I mean, you get some really creative people. That's what I'm saying. You're just like, wow. <laughs> That is so, like, you should write that down. Oh, you know? no. It was written down in 1389, France. Yeah, right. <laughs> Marquis de Sade kind of shit. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> hey, when you have no electricity, you know what I mean? Do you get weird? Yeah. You get creative. Uh-huh. And you're like some rich family who's completely, I mean, you've been banging your sister since you guys were knee high to a grasshopper. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like you see all the all the remade shows. And the son's been doing the mother too. Yeah, like, there's all these weird orgy parties because you know you're bored, and uh, that's one of your main things to do. Is it's a to, hobby. It's to fuck. That's right. Dark ages banging was definitely a hobby, no doubt for for wealthy people. Sure, go on down to the village. You know, snatch up a couple of villagers. Give me a whore. <clears throat> that's right. Bring them somewhere. Get brutal. But, oh God, leave them. <laughs> well, do whatever, because yeah. you know you have knights in a castle, and you, God knows what. Because and you're they're just peasants, <clears throat> and you're completely forcing them to do whatever you want. You know, yeah, you'd be like, oh, I'll give you riches. You don't even have to. They pro- they probably didn't even offer them anything. They're just like, Grr! yeah, that's right. <laughs> you can't stop me from raping anybody I want to. So guess what? I'm gonna flay your tits off and then fuck them. Like <laughs> it's like. <laughs> what you can't stop me no that's right that's why like I, I it occurred to me at some point that if i ever traveled in time it went back to your feudal japan they would kill me immediately i would not survive like 20 minutes i would be held in a cage and tied down i think i don't think i don't th- i think they would immediately look at me and go no fuck that tie him down kill him why is that i mean that that we just watched that thing on that first black Samurai. Well, first of all, feudal Japan, there weren't, you know, big, I would be a fucking monster. Like, um, I'm, I'm, uh, Godzilla. Good, well, cause you're talking about like, like, you know, 1300s and shit. You're talking a long time ago. People were just smaller in general. And you have this big white guy where you don't see foreigners all that often with tattoos. Yeah. No, no doubt. And completely speaking a completely different language. But you know what I mean? I, that would be tied down immediately, and you know, like I don't like held for in a zoo for some some fucking samurai dude would be like, look what I caught the other day. Check out this look thing. What I caught the other Jeez, day. Jesus, fucking check out this guy. We don't know where the hell he came from. Nobody understands him. It's this weird denim armor. armor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. I I would be dead so quickly. <laughs> I would stand a chance in Middle Ages Europe, at least. I, I mean, at least I, I might be able to blend in some somewhere. People were smaller, though. I would I would still be huge. Yeah, <laughs> I'm huge in Japan. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> I am. Anyway, I, what, what were we talking about? I don't fucking what know. You, we, were, we were talking about. Um, I don't. I don't know. People doing weird stuff with hot sauce and and recycling baby birded Fruit Loops, yeah, and stuff like that. Woo. You know, I love Woo. 
I have to say, I, I get a real kick out of it and a tickle. Like, I, it just, it kind of, <laughs> like, it makes me do that. When your dick pops out of those blue pants, that you're, that yeah. your blue house pants, because you're wearing them now, and it's kind of funny, because since I've been home, and I haven't been home that long, your dick is like already like popped out like four times, mm-hmm. and like says, hello. No, I know. <laughs> And I mean, you, it's intentional. And then, yeah, and then you wonder why I fucking take a charge at you, and you're just like, get away. Well, I mean, it's it's really, I can't blame you. It's not your fault. I mean, you were in the presence, you're a lady, and you're in the presence of a dick, so you go dick crazy. You that's can't right. Help, you can't help yourself. Because all women's frame, that's all we think about <laughs> is just dick, 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 dick. No, that's, if they could just only see your dick, they would just go dick crazy immediately. Oh, absolutely. That's completely the way it works. That's what we all want. <laughs> <laughs> All of us. Even yeah. if we say we don't, we're lying. Yeah, but it, on the flip side, you, you don't. And you and if I can do it to you, and 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 you you can enjoy it, but it doesn't. It's not really universal that way. Yeah, I was being sarcastic. People no, can I understand tell sarcasm when they hear it. Can they really? Can yeah. they? Yeah. <laughs> they write transcripts and read it. That's it. I don't oh, know yeah, who writes a transcript, but ours is so dead accurate. I, that's right. <laughs> we get a <laughs> they do the transcript for free, and I just put it up for Webby so, web, for web, shits and giggles. Yeah, because it's if you read it, it's strange what they think that you we actually say because we're not really speaking clear English. I'm sure. That's okay. I'm sure for an AI, it's having a real hard time. It's like. Eh. What's wrong with these people? <laughs> I have lip synced so many, so many <laughs> little cartoons of us talking to where I know how many weird noises we make. At I know what we're trying to say, but there are extra syllables in there that really do we make up. Well, you know, literally say things like we'll skip like day, 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 yeah. <laughs> and, it's, and it comes out, and we, neither one of us notice it happens. <laughs> It's mind blowing. Well, you know, what I, you it makes do? me laugh though because I'm trying to make little cartoon characters' lips move. <laughs> I'm like, what the hell noise is that? What is that? But like, but who makes that noise? What is that? Is that a tortoise? We make that noise. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, if, you, if you're ever in the, um, I guess, in the market for rubber fetus. <laughs> okay. Better than a regular fetus, really. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Uh, you can actually you can get three of them for the price of twenty five dollars on eBay. Huh. That's a pretty good price for a rubber fetus. Yeah, you, and you also get the baby fetal mold too. Wow. You can you could just make an infinite army of rubber feti. You can put him in t-shirt guns and shoot him at protesters like thoop, thoop. It, oh god! Oh, it had oh but abortion. They, protest. Yeah, I was like, what kind of protesters? You? What are you talking about, Katie? Did you just go like like ultra right wing on me in like two seconds? No, no, I hear you. <laughs> the Westboro Baptist, Baptist Church people. Yes, yes, the ones oh. who 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 protest like army vets and. All kinds of weird people. They go to their funerals They're and shit. They're horrible people. I, you know? All of them. Yeah. I would say objectively. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, we're going to go to an episode of Rule 34. And when we come back, we are going to have a new tits man along with a whole bunch of other shit that you're going to find pretty cool because I didn't do. So <laughs> stick around. We'll be right back. Yum, yum. It's time for a tasty and refreshing snack. If you want to feel something cool in the shower, I want to say it's not for everybody. And anyway, tea tree oil. If you get like body wash with tea tree oil or even shampoo with tea tree oil, you use it as a body wash. Ooh, yeah. It is a very big tingle. Okay, that does not sound like very good advice at all. I had someone said that they describe it as if you smoke a menthol out of your asshole. (laughs) (laughs) They're like it burns, but it's cold. Like <laughs> they're like ah. 
I've used it before. Like, I've used tea tree body wash, and I, I didn't get it down into my nethers because I, I could already start to feel it when I was even at my shoulders. I'm like, oh, no, 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 no. I'm like, this cannot be a good thing. Well, there's like a mentholated thing that goes on with that, right? Like, it has a, a, yes. like a mentholated kind of a feel to it. Okay. Yes. Well, I'm just making sure because my tea tree fucking knowledge is not really on par with yours, apparently. I mean, Sorry. I'm, I'm aware of its existence, and I kind of <laughs> know, like, a little bit about it. So we're not, you know, you could go, like, do some lemon, lemon juice sounding next, you know? We'll funnel it up. Oh my god! Do like a reverse catheter on you. Oh, See what happens. Wow. Well, you know someone's gonna try that, and they're gonna well, be like, you, "Hey!" <laughs> well, I'm telling you, it's gonna hurt like hell. Like, really? That's well, yeah. The, some it, people are gonna find love. They're like, "Fuck yes!" And then I think you could after you put the lemon juice in, you could put a little plug of ginger and just put you know to seal the top off and do an actual sound sound. Yeah. A little ginger fig action. A little figging for your day. A little fig sound. Mm-hmm. That's just you know. Some 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 people really hate their dicks. They really. Yes, they do. <laughs> really, they don't like it at all. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only way I can describe it. And they really enjoy not liking it, which is the other thing. Yeah. I mean, not only do you not like it, but... You, you want everyone to know how much you, you don't like it. You are very excited about not liking your dick or balls. Mm-hmm. And now, on with the show. And welcome back to Kinky Katie's World, Rule 34 Studios, KinkyKatieRadio.com and RadioChaos.net. Yeah. You can get me on the Twitter later at Kinky Katie Radio, Kinky Katie Radio.com, Kinky Katie Radio Gmail.com. Get me on the Facebook, Bat Life. Oh my goodness, Google me. Because I like it. Goodness gracious, you can also get me on the Tubes of You on YouTube. Oh, where you can see me. Oh. Doing that, <laughs> doing motions. You can see shite. video of the same thing that you're listening to right now. That's right. That way you don't get it twisted that I'm 120 pounds. <laughs> Ooh, I think so. Hard. Or you don't get it, you know. <laughs> or you can see the expression on my face, and like sometimes I do things that you guys, are, it's not audible. Uh, yeah, it's just um, it's visual, which is kind of a shitty thing to do for radio. But I mean, sometimes I can't help it. Yeah, my I, face just is not. Yes. Stop doing what it's doing. Yes, I, I just know. wanted to make it clear if you think I'm 120 pounds. I'm literally probably 320 pound people. <laughs> and he's six foot tall. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm burly. You are? Yeah. You're a bar. Definitely. Bar bar. Uh huh. Pull the bar. Big obnoxious white beard. <laughs> yeah. White trashy. Big earlobes tattoos. Come on. <laughs> 120 pounds. What are you getting? Where did that come from? Well, I mean, said you. Someone has said you sound like Stevo. Okay, well, yeah, I guess. You know what? If you put like, you know, if you have Stevo like in your in your mind, because you know, we have both frazzled uh, <laughs> fucking voices. Okay, I guess so. I guess so. I guess so. Maybe you're just a weird like little gamer dude. I don't really have 120 pound energy though. You know. I'm de- <laughs> I definitely have big boy energy. You know what I mean? <laughs> big boy energy. I'm just saying. <laughs> All the way around. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's exactly. It's like, oh, are you getting up? Can I have some tea? Like, oh, yeah, you got to make some more. <laughs> what are you talking about? Nothing. You're going off on your own. You're, you're you're starting to complain about something, aren't you? No. You're, are you trying to complain? No. Okay. I'm not you, doing you it. You can if no, you want. No, I'm not. It's okay. Don't you dare cue up that music. I'm not <laughs> doing it because I can see that you're doing it. You're trying to string it out and give it to say something. <laughs> walk Tell me right, you weren't. Walk your right into it and make uh, fun of me for doing it. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, my God. So there's, there's, this, there's this board game okay. that they're saying, yeah. <laughs> If you want to have fun at the next Thanksgiving or, or or like holiday party with your family, there's a board game called Right or Racist. Oh, well, you know, it, maybe it's fun? Question mark? Oh, I don't know. Yeah. I just, yeah. It doesn't sound like a good time to me, really. No, it no. does not sound like a good time to me either. No, I will because r- right away, j- you're just for you not knowing, somebody is literally going to start ridiculing you right away. You know what I mean? It's it, going to be m- awful. Maybe because you're just ignorant of one thing or another. Like, I had no idea Kimbo meant that. I had no, no clue. <laughs> Who would have thought it? Akimbo, come on. 
<laughs> Akimbo! You know, um, we've seen those dinosaurs that have, instead of the heads, they have dicks, like like penis. What? Like, cock, schmeckle. Okay, yeah, dog. like where, where the neck on the T-Rex would go. It's right, just, and just the head straight is just cock. dick. Yeah, cock with arms. You're okay. Like, yeah, yeah well, like, like a Tyrannosaurus cock. Right. Right. Right, well, now- Tricera cock. Th- hey. <laughs> hey, now. I didn't know Sarah had a cock. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try it though. So there, there's this. Well, now they have them, uh, the Cuntosaurus. Ooh. So instead of a dick, it's a poo spa. Nice. Yes. What sound do you think a Cuntosaurus would have made if if it was getting banged by the uh, Tyrannosaurus cock? <laughs> no, I, I don't have no idea. <laughs> well, you're like the closest thing I know to an animal husbandry expert. Oh, so uh, yeah, really, no, that's right. You, you want to know what the sound of an animal fucking is? If, if anybody <laughs> would know what a Cuntosaurus like sounded like banging a Tyrannosaurus cock. How? Or a Triceracock. They got now, the spikies. Now, would they have sex... <laughs> Face to face, or would they have sex? It would have to be face to face because her vag is coming out of where the dick would be. Like she has a vag vag head. <laughs> yeah. So everything's got to be everything's got to be head to head on that. I mean, it's well. I mean, it doesn't have to be. Maybe well, maybe you like it in the butt. I don't. Maybe they have a cloaca. Maybe they've got two sets, though. Is the, what I'm saying. Well, nobody's saying that vag hole or that giant dick on a tyrannosaurus cock. Uh, that that you see <laughs> is the end that's the end that uh, they use for sex. They probably have just normal sex parts. That's just their head and face, Katie. That's what I said. That's very insensitive. Oh my god! They're deformed. Oh, Jesus. Christ. Deformed mythical animals that don't exist. I almost want a a a, a cuntosaurus. It's an interesting little sculpture. Yeah, if you want, we can put one here. Yeah. Do they? Yeah. Can I get them at the same place we get the rubber baby fetus? <laughs> no. Okay. Actually, do you do you want a, a frozen baby fetus? <laughs> no. Wait. I might want a regular one later, so yeah. <laughs> that was an old one. Uh, <laughs> See and I but you I remember. didn't I do, I remember. <laughs> and the and the and the mole cricket snatches the pebble from the master's hand. <laughs> Right. <laughs> so if the person out there in your life likes to uh, eat pussy and is keto, you can get beef jerky underwear. <laughs> okay. Okay. You know, what does that have to do with being keto? Well, because it's beef jerky. They can't have like <laughs> sugar. It's meat. You know? <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's- but pussy's meat too. That's not a vegetable item. It's yeah, definitely meat. I know, but I'm talking about like if you, you they have edible underwear out yeah, there, you know, okay. trying to be sexy, but that stuff is made out of the nastiest plasticky fruit roll up wannabe shit in the world. There goes our fruit roll up sponsorship right out the window. <sighs> we had advertising money lined up for fruit roll up. We we're like, gonna do a whole campaign spread. I like gushers better. <laughs> mm, gushers. Arr. Yeah. So, so. So yeah. Th- so these are these are panties that are made out of beef jerky. Okay. Like that you that you wear, and it's not even. <laughs> but I don't know what it kind of like rehydrate with your juices. Well, I guess the idea would be you could actually eat them, but if you were right. uh, on some weird diet, the sugar, you know, I guess I don't know. You know, it sounds it sounds like a weird thing to try to eat off of somebody. To me, beef jerky does not say I want to fuck. No, it so, doesn't. But, you know, if beef jerky is what you want to smell and taste while you're going down to munch on a box or eat your favorite fucking, uh, uh, you know, dick. Salmon jerky. Oh. Only in Warm Japan. Salmon. That's only available in Japan, Katie. <laughs> no, it's, it's up, you know, in like. I bet, I bet salmon jerky panties exist. I almost bet you money. Maybe they do. Uh, if you guys want to have some salmon jerky panties, go for it. I, you know, 
It's a it's a thing in Alaska. Is it? No, it's a thing. It's a thing all over the place. I'm sure it Asian, is. Asian people make a lot of jerky out of stuff. They do. Squid jerky. I want to try that so bad. They do like this roller jerky. Like they take a squid and like stick it in this like crank and it gets huge and really flat. It's like kind of like you ran it over with <laughs> a car and then left it out to dry. I don't huh. know, but oh. I want to try it. Ooh, there's, there's your, what you were talking about. Brief jerky. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Brief jerky, edible meat underwear. Yummy, yummy. It looks scary too. Uh, now the picture I see is is scary. Did you see the bedazzled one? No, no. This one is literally beef jerky. <laughs> it's literally literal beef jerky. <laughs> My God. Yeah. All right. Well, let's go to your favorite segment. Stand by. Standing by. Boobs in and on the news. It's time once again for. Man. So this week's Ticks Man is uh, is <laughs> the big book of breasts in 3D. 3D? 3D. Huh. So it is like a pop-up book of tits. Oh. Uh, uh, I love pop-up books. Yeah. <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> well, like the intricate ones that we've seen people make, that they, 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 you know, like a modern pop up book. Yeah, they're. You know what I'm I saying. think they're cool. Yeah, they pop. You're like, what the fuck is going? What kind of engineering is this? It's pretty neat. You like guys you have been go- talking to the aliens for a long time. <laughs> Pull this little tab. You look what it does. <laughs> Oh. Wow. <laughs> How do I close it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you always end up ripping it. Anyway, but so this, uh, the big book of breasts, so it's a big titty book, it's <laughs> it's 28 pages of uh, of popping off the page, state of the art, 3D. Eye popping. Eye popping. Yeah. Eye popping. Mm. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, 28 pages, but there's 90 photos. All full nude? Yeah, yeah it's all big titties. Huh. Yeah, 3D. Boing, 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 boing. Yeah, no, like a pop-up book. It's yes. a pop-up book. It is a pop-up book. It's a booby pop-up book. It is. I'm liking that and idea. And you can get it on Amazon. I wonder why I haven't seen that yet, you know? Just any pornographic pop-up book. In my mind, I don't know that I remember ever seeing one of those. Just open it up and a big dick is like, how you doing? Could be anything. It could be fucking alien tentacle squid monster coming out of a girl's vagina. (gasps) And then you have the little pull tabs. And then every time you like do the pull tabs. Yeah. (laughs) The tentacles go in and out of her. Yeah. No, the tentacles just start coming out of her mouth and her ears. They go in one end and out the other. Her stomach grows. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Look, you should have seen his eyes. Uh-huh. Wow, you in kind of psycho face. Okay. You You're did. not supposed to look at me. I told you, I'll, I'll put up a fucking barrier right in front of me. That's all right. So you can no longer, I, no cheating. Eye contact is cheating while you're doing uh, a, an audio broadcast. No, oh, okay. Because there's people, there's m- the vast majority of people are fucking listening and they're doing other stuff at the same time. So. Well, you want to know something? It's not just audio because um, we are filming this and this will be on YouTube. So it is visual. Well, yeah, they, there's a few people that watch it on YouTube and, and, and bless them, bless them. But, but most of them are, yeah. do, are doing ten things at once, and they're trying to figure out what the hell you're talking about. Whatever, no one can understand what I'm talking. So no about. eye contact. That's cheating because then we're making communication, and we'll think that we're saying something we're not. We're not making any sense. Anyway, so you can get this. You can actually get this pop up book on Amazon. I know. Yeah, so it's really cool. But I think it's also kind of funny that some people, they said, you might also like the big book of pussy. Uh, uh, Yeah. But this one doesn't say 3D, so it's not like you open it up and it's like, feed me. You know, like (laughs) like little shop of horse coming at you. Like, oh my God, (laughs) she's got teeth in her snatch. You know, like. (laughs) I knew it, Katie. I knew you had teeth in there. I knew if I looked close enough, I'd find them. It just grips you. You've been caught. That's right. <laughs> and another one was the little book of butts. Little book of butts. The little book of it's butts. A tiny butt book. It's the little butt book. The <laughs> little butt book. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I still think the number one winner is the 3D pop out boob book. Really? Yeah. Yeah. The little book. You know. I guess if your uh, asses are nice, they're nice, but it's not a pop out book. <laughs> I want a full fucking uh uh. You know, uh, 
manga 3D pop out hentai action. Ew. They have a different name for it. I forget what it's called. It's Japanese. It's hard for me to remember foreign stuff sometimes. You did pretty well with it though. Usually, yeah, because you could you could rattle off like if I'm all not these so high names. If I'm not so high, uh, yeah, it's a lot easier for me to remember. Tojinchi? I think it's a Tojinchi. Anyway, I think that's what it's called. <laughs> so that's that's my tits man for the week. Tits, 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 tits man. man. Some tentacles coming out of holes everywhere as you open the book and flip <gasps> the pages. <gasps> yeah. That's just how it happens. So another thing that's coming around that uh, is gaining more popularity are uh, – <laughs> Are sugar granddaddies? Hmm. Yeah. Uh, wow. Sugar granddaddies, and these are men over sixty. Okay. That are that are into um, being you know, being sugar daddies, paying for sex, and oh, so like it yeah. always has been, pretty much. Yeah, 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 but like I mean, forever. <laughs> yes. o- old dudes with money. Yeah. Okay. But this is but this is like. Older, older than what normal? Sure, they're having lemon parties. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> hey. <laughs> oh, there's a really cool thing that I ran across, which is pretty nice. It's called the Satisfier One Night Stand Air Pulse Simulator. Air Pulse Simulator. Pretty much, it's a very, very cheap um, clit sucker that you keep in your purse, and that's why it's called the One Night Stand. Because oh. pretty much, you leave it in your purse, so you go somewhere and you're like. A portable then, portable clit sucker like that womanizer like the little the, like yeah. the one that you have yeah and then when it's dead it's dead you just chuck it really yeah disposable these things are, are less than eight dollars they they sound like that's not very eco friendly but very convenient very convenient very con- and and if you have a really tiny dick you could probably do something with the little cup on the end you probably could or if you're like really into sounding you could like just like shove it in your hole oh wow <laughs> that's aggressive. That sounds very crap. Those that's got to be pretty fat. Huh? <laughs> so I'm just saying. I mean, I've seen someone take a giant, you know, vibrator and cram it into a guy's dick hole. So it's like it depends on you. Yeah, I mean, I guess once you, once you've been using the fucking Carolina Reaper, uh, oh. move, you know, you've been using that for a few years. Uh, you're gonna need to do some some disposable <laughs> clit sucker. Sounding. Oh my god! Everybody's doing it. It's a, it's the newest rage, <sighs> really. But eight bucks—that's not bad. Like, and I guess it doesn't come with a, 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 a regular batteries or what, what's what's going on with that situation. What if you want to reuse it? You know what I mean? Oh, I don't think there's a way to access the the battery hmm. chamber. Huh, once you pull the little sticker tab to activate it, that's it. Well, it's a, it's got like a um a clicker button like on the bottom. Sounds like it would be fun at the strip club. <laughs> would it? <laughs> for, yeah, sure. <laughs> I mean, you're probably going to get thrown out, but the look on somebody's face when they what the fuck is going on? <laughs> <laughs> I, see here again if you're at the right strip club it won't matter that's true because then it just costs you more money <laughs> they're just like yeah no sure you can do that yeah no that's that's a hundred bucks yeah you could watch me play with the clit sucker you you drop a hundo on me yeah. and uh fork yeah. that thing over big boy there you go and if i come you owe me another 50 uh-huh <laughs> multiple orgasms are are hit exponentially that's you start right. doubling up every time i bust another nut <laughs> uh, um, <clears throat> excuse me going along with our kind of like still talking about titties they have after dinner nipples <laughs> aren't all dinner nipples after dinner nipples isn't that like a double moron a double moron or a devil like an oxymoron but in in the, the other sense of the term uh, okay i mean all nipples are definitely after dinner nipples well, nipples can be anytime nipples. Okay, but there are after dinner nipples. All right. Well, these are mint flavored um, after dinner nipples, and they come in, they come very nicely packaged in a box. Really? Yes, and you can get them, and they're they look delicious. So they're like little molded nipples with um, at breathy scents. The, yes, they the look freshener. They look like brown areolas with little little huh. nippy on it, and they're they're all chocolate huh. and mint. I figured they would be multicolored, like you would have red ones and green ones and brown ones, and 
no, tan ones. They're not like that mint white bowl. Ones. Like at the, you know, people used to put. No. Can you imagine? Can you remember when people used to do that at restaurants? Like at the at the cash register when you go to fucking pay your check, they would have bowls of mints. Yeah, people, I, I would. I like, would eat them all the time. Fuck I yeah, I did too. Talk about. <laughs> I totally did. Uh-huh. I was like, hmm, yummy. It was a different <laughs> time. We didn't care about germs then. No one cared. We at just all. eat that shit. <laughs> There's this thing, the sneeze guard. Is that some candies? <laughs> I know. I'm the hot I just pick my nose. <laughs> Whatever. Grab have a handful. Of every every ten year old's been through it. Been through that restaurant and finger fucked the shit out of that bowl. Every <laughs> one of those is snot covered. You, do you think the ball pit inside of a McDonald's was bad? I mean, that's that's probably why you know you don't get sick at all. Is because we're not all paranoid of everything. Like our well, parents, like didn't give a shit. Like well, we got into stuff. There's something to that for sure. You know the the exposure to fun. <laughs> <laughs> Funk, I guess. I don't know. Bacteria. <laughs> okay. <It's just> grossness. <laughs> Whatever. Well, it's like I, there's there's p- people post pictures of stuff all the time, and they're like, "Oh, if you've ever like partied here, then you're immune to all viruses or something." And it's just like a really gross place, like because you know it's nasty. I mean, and and people have said that about all stars. I could I could remind you that we we you know we live pot- potentially in the weirdest place to be dirty in. You know, in, in at least the United States, I mean, Florida for sure. Most people would say, "Yeah, I don't know if I want to roll around on the ground down there." No, unless it's the beach. Even then, I mean, it's uh, honestly. I know what I've done on the beach. Well, here's the thing, though. You were there for some of it. When you when you go to when you go to um, um, other other places, especially up north where it gets cold and wintry, you know, there is a level of dirt and grime on the roads that doesn't exist down here. Like, it really doesn't. Like, really, it's a way cleaner. You've been to New Orleans. You've seen the alleys in New Orleans. You know what that's about. Oh, and that was those were post Katrina, uh, uh, fucking alleyways. I don't even know. Oh, the smell. Yeah, and it was like that when I went there too. It was just it was it was a yeah uh, alleyway in New Orleans smell. Those gut- <laughs> oh god, the fucking like the drink. <laughs> so bad. So really, Florida's not that bad, but most people think it is. But really, it's a lot cleaner down here. We're okay here. Come on down. <laughs> We're okay. There's a fetish party this weekend. It's going on right now as we speak. Yes, today was the pervy pool party. Uh, yeah. There's going to be events tomorrow and Monday. That's right. Yep. So go get your whippy smacky on. Well, by the time you listen to this, it's probably too late. So Whatever. Fuck you. You could have went. You can check it out. The festivities on their website afterwards, there'll be pictures and shit. That's right. So you can go next year. Yeah. Plan ahead because it's a total hotel takeover. I mean, there what was only one time you could have gone to a post pandemic fetish party. You know, you know, that would have been the one to go to, really. It really would have. Yeah, because everybody would everybody's really be just ready to high strung. Fuck. It's gonna be a high strung <laughs> bunch for sure. Yeah. Everybody's on a hair trigger. <laughs> Oh my God! Somebody touch me now! Oh. <laughs> exactly. I just need to rub on something. <laughs> You're like, all right, this is gonna be fun. That's what I'm saying. I guarantee you, that's happening. I uh, th- two of our friends that used to go all the time. That was part of part of that that little group that we used to hang out with when yes. we went. Uh-huh. Well, she lives now um, in a total other state, like up northern area. Okay, with her man. Yes. They're down for the weekend for to go to that. Yes, yeah, it's a good size event. Weekend. I hear. Yeah, yeah. No, it's, well, it's you know, it's a fun thing. You can get rolls of raffle tickets <laughs> to give out. It's <laughs> butt stuff. What? It says butt stuff. Like, uh, like here you get a ticket. So wait, if, wait, wait. Like, so let me understand this. You can order a roll of raffle tickets printed with anything you want on them. <sighs> Was that sure the sure ad- you could, but these specifically <laughs> says butt stuff. Okay, you could get raffle tickets with butt stuff printed on them. Yes, <gasps> you're an asshole. Sometimes <laughs> I swear to Christ. But if you think about it, I know China exists, so we could get anything printed on anything we want on fucking like three week delivery on Wish. Well, if you're if we're talking about like printing anything on anything, they actually have a printer for cheese. I know. I saw that. You can, you, I don't know how I feel about that. You can buy 
put your face or something on a piece of cheese. Well, I mean, you definitely got to go with dick if you're like my first thing out of dick it would cheese? be. Yes, absolutely. And it would be uncircumcised dick. Oh. Uh, yeah, I'm going raw natural form. Oh. All natural. Oh. Uh-huh, all natural. Cheese. Stilton-y. We'll do a multi-layer cheese in it. Part of it w- will turn into a funky, like, uh, um, like a Lindberger is what I'm thinking of up toward the end of it there. And toward the base, we'll go into more of a brie, kind of a <laughs> loose consistency. <sighs> Why? <laughs> 3D printed cheese. There's going to be weird little cheese characters everywhere now. You're going to see them everywhere because people are going to, there's somebody going to gonna own a cheese printer. No. This is this is put pictures on cheese. Oh, pictures on cheese. Yes. Oh, I'm thinking 3D printer. I know. That's why I was well, trying to so, explain. That's disappointing. This is 2021. We should have a fucking. You can probably extrude no, cheese through a yes, 3D printer. Yes, you can. They do have food 3D printers. Okay. So yes, that is possible. But this is like 1980 technology. That's <laughs> what you're talking about. I guess so. Yeah. No. So what do you want to get printed on what cheese? I don't know. You could put a dick on it. That's what I'm, I was like, yeah, dick cheese, huh? I was like, <laughs> never mind, whatever. <laughs> you got your big hair on and your big shoulders. It's, <laughs> 80 style. Ow, ow! Yeah. Leopard print or she, I don't know what that is. Is that it's an animal yeah, print of it's some leopard. sort? Leopard. <laughs> <laughs> the house we're at today is just packed with leopard stuff. Like there's leopard everywhere. It's a, a leopard is like a puma that climbs trees. That's right. And by trees he means dick. <laughs> climb right up there. <laughs> <laughs> There's a candle you can get that says, I love you for your personality, but that dick is a huge bonus. <laughs> nice. <laughs> it's like, yeah, my friend got me that. Keep it there. You know. That's a little weird if you have a friend that buys you <laughs> a shirt what? about your dick. <laughs> it's kind of strange, uh, you know? Uh, it's kind of about, hey, hey, buddy, look what I got you for your birthday. Check it out. Uh, uh, <laughs> I've seen you in the shower, big boy. Wow, that's a pretty one. Oh my god! Sup, bra? So you you know somebody whose friend got like it could maybe maybe it's it's it could be a gay man, and that could make. But it just seems like an odd. It seems like an odd choice to me to give gift a man. You know, an, like a like a bro. Hey, bro. Yeah. Whatever. Got frats or frats. No. <laughs> I know you're my little brother in Alpha Alpha Sigma Chi, <laughs> whatever. But I want you to have this put in your room. <laughs> you're my pal, man. I love you. I don't know. Just a bro job doesn't count. Just a bro Just job. Just a little broy. <laughs> little broy. See, in the shit that we did, we first met. That didn't matter, and it didn't count because we were strangers. <laughs> and as we know, it's not gay if you're a stranger. We That's covered right. This. Well, that way, when you're approaching another man to look at his dick, he knows that you don't necessarily mean I want to a sexual that advance, like because then you're setting up expectations that maybe you're not going to follow. You're being a cock tease, really, if you don't let him know ahead of time that yeah. hey, hey, this isn't a sexual advance. I just want to check out your dick. I saw your shirt. <laughs> That's all your girlfriend was wearing. I want to check that thing out. Let me see that hog. Oh, my God. Can I touch it? <laughs> Look out now. <laughs> <laughs> Look out. Coming at you. Ow. <laughs> Almost bit you on that one. Ow. Watch your eyes. You spit. <laughs> it's far. Yeah. How many dudes have you heard that from? <laughs> I mean, you had to have heard that from at least a half a dozen guys. Watch, it spits. Oh, it's, yeah. It spits, yes. <laughs> They're talking about, like, watch out. I'm like, watch out. I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> Coming through. Ow! <laughs> I don't know if you hit it. Should I take it out? No. Coming in hot, baby. Ha-ha! 
No, if that was the response you got when you walked up to some dude at the urinal when you asked him to see his dick, if that was his response, <laughs> it would be the greatest thing in the world. You know, it would make you laugh. Yeah. He turned out, watch out! <laughs> You're like, whoa! Scared you didn't hey, I? <laughs> there, big boy. What are you doing? Wow. Get that reaction a lot. <laughs> I've just never seen one shaped quite that way. It literally looks like Thor's hammer. It's really strange. It's T-shaped. Hammerhead? <laughs> it was a vacuum pump accident. Oh. It got stuck on the end. Ooh. It got swollen head now. Swollen head. Got bit by a Zika fly. It went the other way. Big head. <laughs> Macrocephalitic bitch. Oh my god. Penile macrocephaly. Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. All right, we're going to go. We're going to get out of here for the night. Just because. Actually, no, well, since we were going to talk about like um dickhead shit. Bonus content. Bonus content. Cuz I love you. Oh, um by the way, thank you Mr. uh Garza for the, for the wig. And he got me another one too, and thank you. So I'm wearing one of them tonight. I like it. It's not a bad wig. It's cute. Yeah, it's like cute. It. Old lady wig, but with ponytails, so it's confusing. Aww. You don't know how to think of. You almost. You, it almost reminds me of the princess in in Re Zero. The white because she has white hair. I do believe. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Looks yeah. nothing like this though. Okay, well, whatever. Don't don't use your big memory skills on me. I know you're going through your memory palace and you know all of the characters hey, what they look like. If I, it'll, if they it'll, all blend together for me. If it'll get me banged, you can pretend I'm anyone you want to. I don't know that I would bang the chick from. Well, I would not bang the chick from Re Zero. I could change the I outfit was, and if I was the know. main protagonist in that one, yeah, yeah. I yeah. do have a crown because she is like royalty. But you do have the two little weird sisters in that one too. Like really all of them. There's several of them that I would bang before the princess, I think. Oh, okay. Yeah. But I do like the wig. Thank <laughs> you. I like it too. By the way, from the same from the same place that brought you that that um uh, fucking uh, clit sucker, the little one night stand thing of Hooger. Um, they have a renegade gladiator vibrating penis harness in blue. Wait, wait a second. <laughs> you can't just throw 30 words out there at once. <laughs> Expect me to follow it. Renegade Roman gladiator. <laughs> you see, you're adding more words. No, this is what I'm saying. It's very confusing. It's. <laughs> It's the renegade, renegade gladiator, gladiator vibrating, vibrating penis, penis harness in blue. <laughs> we really got to help somebody's marketing department out. <laughs> I mean, it's the translation department. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, is Google Translate not? I mean, does that sound better in a different language? Maybe it does. Maybe like in whatever language that originated in, it that sounds normal. Roman, bro, uh, uh, <laughs> Gladius. I can't say Roman. <laughs> Fucking, you didn't say Roman. No, did you, no. What did you? Not even the second time <laughs> or the third. Are you sure? <laughs> At this point, no. no. Uh, that's <laughs> yes, a fucking sure. mouthful. So this is some kind of a weird strap-on with a strange name. Yeah, it kind of looks like a shoe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we could have called it the strap-on shoe. It's a strappy standal-looking thing yeah. that vibrates your dick. Oh, so you're it's- you're fucking a shoe. <laughs> Vibrate your... Whoa. Okay, that uh, what the fuck is renegade strappy. gladiator? That's Wait, why I keep are you sure saying say Roman. Roman renegade gladiator <laughs> vibrating penis harness in blue. In blue, <laughs> that's the REM <laughs> version. <laughs> it's that, on uh, sale now. That looks like somebody made it with their 3D printer at home out of cheese, blue cheese. <laughs> 
Oh, that's a weird design. It looks like it. It almost looks like a, a a muzzle harness for your dick and balls, where your balls go into a silicone little strappy thingy, and then there's a cup for your dick. <laughs> Is that what happens with that thing? No, that's a bad picture of it because the picture is upside down. That's why they put a diagram next to it. You can click on what it. <laughs> okay. What you really do with it is there is a strappy part that goes around your balls. And there's another one that goes around your head, but the bulbous part that looks like it's supposed to be the vibrating for like the head of your dick or for your balls is actually a clit nub or a, an asshole tickler. That thing's for a lady? No, it's for a dude. And it looks like an alien grabbing onto a dick. Like it looks like Roger. Like, hey. Oh boy, it does. <laughs> that's what's going on with that thing. It literally looks like an octopus that's riding the top of a dick wrapped around the bottom of his balls. Right. Now I'm understanding this toy. I'm understanding this thing. Why don't they just call it the octopus fucking cock ring? Dick hugger. The, 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 <laughs> oct the octopus vibrating cock ring in blue. It's sold. There you go. Way better than the Roman Gladius conquering version of vibrating strap on toys on. made in February <laughs> in a light rain. Hey, um, speaking of like coming up, I I made this is so, never mind. I don't want to say fuck it. I'll say it. I um I was asked to be in a in a mo another movie, but okay. it's not starting until January. Okay, yeah, well, whatever. I, you do what you do what you want. It's about vampires. I don't. I'm not really your manager. I don't really approve the scripts that you approve or not. I don't. I don't really know about. What so have yeah do whatever you want to do if you want to do the movie do the movie I'm just, yeah. okay all right anyway all right we're gonna get out of here um for don't the don't threaten me the, <laughs> don't you dare threaten me shut up <laughs> don't you threaten me with that voice <laughs> fucking we I are may be smaller than you, you. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm mighty I may be tiny sure you are <laughs> you're so cute when you're angry <laughs> I know <laughs> I love it <laughs> Lexi I love you I'm I'm not making fun of you no, I, but it, it's, it, just, it's, it's that it's thing cute. that happens when you listen to somebody you have no yeah. idea yeah no no it's I've 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 experienced this with radio personalities Norm McDonald what where, where you where, yeah like, you meet somebody that you no. just hear and you go well yeah no I have a completely different different thing going on with you yeah yeah. Yeah. Well, you know. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> it's like yeah, that's what I thought you'd sound like. <laughs> uh, anyway, I don't know. All right. Well, like I said, we're getting out of here. <laughs> so I hope you guys have a great day, great shift, great month, week, whatever it is you're fucking doing. Great drive. Whatever. Um, SC, do you have anything for me? Negative. All right, guys. Well, we are out of here. Hasta lasagna. Don't get any on ya. Kisses on your paper parts. Love you. Bye. <laughs> Don't give me that face. <laughs>